Hi hey everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU with MSI Afterburner in 2023. So brand new guide. Uh, it will be very easy. We're not we're not going to touch the core voltage, so it will be safe also. Uh, so let's start the guide. So first of all, go to settings and make sure that you're using a custom uh, fan curve. So you want to enable the user-defined software over there. Uh, it's a little bit more aggressive by default and also you can change it by yourself. So what you need to look at is first of all, your temperature degrees over there and you have your fan speed. So the goal here is to have better thermals to make sure that you have a, a better OC also, but you don't want too much noise. It really depends on you guys, but normally you don't want to hear your fan spinning at 100% all the time. So adjust a little bit your fan curve uh, to have better thermals. After that, we're going to touch, first of all, the power limit. What I recommend is just put your power limit at maximum. You will see that your temp limit will uh, follow. Don't uh, panic. It's safe. Just go like that. You don't want to limit your GPU because of the power limit. So just go like this. After that, the one that you really want to change, it's your core clock in megahertz and your memory clock. What I normally recommend to the people is start with memory clock. Normally, you can do more over there. And you will need to test and test and retest a lot. So for an example, you just put 56 like this, you apply it. And now you want to do a benchmark. So me, I like to use the 3D Mark uh, Speedway benchmark or the Time Spy Extreme. But you can also use free benchmark like the Uni Engine. Make sure that you download the latest version, the Super Potion 2017. So the goal here is to run your benchmark. You want to make sure, first of all, is it stable? So no crash and you don't see any artifact. But also at the end, you need to look at your score. So your score should improve all the time. So what I don't really recommend, just go default without any overclocking, do your benchmark, take note of the score. And after that, do your overclocking because sometimes you can have like a stable overclocking, but your score will be lower. So really important. You don't want to lose FPS when you, um, when you overclock. So super important to do that. So for example, you did 56. Now it's stable. Now after that, I don't know, after 30 minutes, you, you did a lot of testing. Normally just go 50 plus 50 plus 50 each time. Reapply it, do some testing. And when you know that your memory clock is now stable. Uh, so for an example, you went to 240 or 50. It was crashing, but at 201, uh, 210, sorry. Uh, everything is stable, you can start to touch your core clock. So now go with your core clock at, for an example, 41, apply it, run a benchmark, make sure everything is stable and you have a better result again in your score and do that until you crash. And when you crash, just go a little bit lower and normally you should be fine. Very important to look at your temperature. You don't want to run like crazy temp, 90, 95 degrees. So normally, honestly, 75 80 really depend on your GPU also just go read about it so uh, Radeon it's a little bit different than Nvidia uh, I'm not a, even at 75 honestly I'm not a huge fan of it I, I like to run my GPU uh, under 70 but it's question of preference do you need those FPS or not so this is pretty much it uh, after that save it save it on a profile so now you know that your profile one is your uh profile that you did your overclocking you can uh make sure that it apply when windows started up as you can see over there they're saying 130 percent 40 41 megahertz and 210 for your memory really important if you're struggling and you don't know what to do you want to go back just put push the reset button over there and everything will go back to normal so that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just come in the YouTube section, post me your GPU, what kind of GPU that you're using, also the brand. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.